and on to the United States where at least four people are killed and several others injured after a man opened fire in Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. There are reports emerging that the attacker has surrendered and is in police custody. Policemen uh, from across the city responded to that situation uh, at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Squirrel Hill. Two police officers were also reportedly injured in that shooting incident. Let's go straight across now to Nick Harper, who's join, who joins us live from New York uh, on that developing story. Nick, if you can uh, establish for our viewers uh, the sequence of events and what uh, happened over the last few minutes uh, in Pennsylvania. Well, what we know is that around 10 a.m. in Pittsburgh earlier on this morning, so about two hours ago, there was a regular Saturday morning service taking place at the Tree of Life Synagogue in the Squirrel Hills area of Pittsburgh. And it was then that a gunman entered the synagogue and started firing. Uh, we were hearing reports that people were having to barricade themselves in different rooms of the synagogue to avoid the gunfire. We now know that that gunman has been taken into police custody. Uh, there are reports that there was a shootout when police turned up at the scene, uh, but they have managed to take him into custody. What we're still waiting to learn is the exact number of casualties. Lots of unconfirmed reports so far, potentially putting the death toll as high as eight people. Uh, police have been speaking to some of the media outlets in Pittsburgh, uh, saying that 12 people were shot in total. Eight of them died, and that includes in those casualty numbers, we're not sure whether they died or not, three police officers who were also shot. Uh, reports also that the gunman came heavily armed, had multiple weapons uh, that he used during the course of this attack. But as I repeat, uh, those are unconfirmed uh, numbers at this stage. We are waiting for police uh, to update us on exactly how many people uh, were injured and potentially killed during this attack. And Nick, also this uh, incident of shooting coming at a time, of course, very close on the heels of uh, a number of incidents uh, of uh, shooting over the last few months, but also coming at a time when the United States is on tenterhooks, given what's been happening with, for example, those uh, bomb uh, packages that have been found at uh, multiple locations across the United States. So a pretty tense few days uh, uh, it's been for the United States when we look at the security situation. That's right, yes, a tense week security-wise, a difficult week for the security services. Uh, there have been other mass shootings. We know of one in Kentucky within the last 48 hours, which seemed to have been racially motivated, a white man uh, killing two black people uh, within the state of Kentucky. But also those pipe bomb attacks that you mentioned, uh, more than a dozen packages mailed right across the country uh, to very high-ranking Democrat figures, Democrat donors, Democrat supporters, even past Democrats. Democrat president. Uh, a man was taken into police custody, uh, arrested on Friday morning about 24 hours ago in the U.S. state of Florida. Uh, Cesar Sayoc was arrested, a 56-year-old man. It's thought that he carried out this mail bomb campaign, sending more than a dozen pipe bombs to those Democrat politicians right across the country. But yes, that of course is ahead uh, of the midterm elections in just over a week and a half's time, which will essentially decide what President Trump can can do during the next two years of his presidency. Uh, it seems as if uh, Cesar Sayoc, who was taken in police custody, uh, could uh, well have been targeting Democrats because of his own political views. We know that he is a, a Republican supporter, a Republican voter, and a number of stickers that were found on his van where he was arrested uh, suggested that he was uh, an advocate of not just uh, Donald Trump's uh, agenda, but also Donald Trump's idea that there are fake news outlets out there uh, suggesting that he is against CNN and various other news outlets. CNN, of course, was one uh, of the targets of those pipe bombs during the course of this last week.